हेलो फ्रेंड्स रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सी पी वीडियो सीरीज ऑन एरे इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट एरे एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 फाइंड इंटरसेक्शन ओके सेक्शन स्पेलिंग इज रॉन्ग हियर ओके फाइंड इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सॉर्टेड एरेज ओके सो इफ योर एरेज आर लाइक दिस वी कैन सी एरे वन इज सॉर्टेड एरे टू इज सॉर्टेड वी हैव टू फाइंड द कॉमन बिटवीन दीज टू एंड द कॉमन एलिमेंट्स आर लाइक टू एंड फोर वी हैव डुप्लीकेट्स ऑल्सो हियर ओके सो intersection is like the common elements in between these two arrays and there is another topic where this arrays are not sorted so there you will have a different approach but when they are sorted you can take the advantage of sorting and without using any extra space you can actually come up with the solution like how many elements are common so the best way is like you have two pointers l1 l1 and this is l2 you just compare this with this are they equal no they are not equal so first you will not check equality first you will check is this guy less than this guy then we have to increment this right because we have to find equality and this is sorted so if this guy is greater than this guy then you have to increment in order to find the equal guy like this or equal to this right so we'll increment here we'll reach here now you'll compare is this less than this no is this greater than this no then they are equal so if they are equal what i'll do i'll just increment both the counters so l2 will come here l1 will come here and let's suppose you had 2 here not 4 then also you will have 2 equal to 2 and you will end up having 2 comma 2 in your result because this was equal right these two and then you will go here you have a duplicate 2 let's suppose you have duplicate 2 here also then in that case you reached here now you will equate this with this so you will again find 2 you will print that or make that entry but that would be wrong so we need some special handling here you have to find duplicate numbers and they all will be adjacent because this is sorted array right so if 2 is duplicate 2 will be there in the next and next and next okay it cannot be in some random order so what we have to do before comparing this 2 with this 2 what i have to check is this 2 equal to its next meaning whatever this number is is this same number exist in the next position also then i'll just simply increment the counter and i will not check any comparison or i won't do any comparison and then i will check with this guy like 2 is equal to 3 no it is not if it is not then only i'll compare this with this okay and say that okay 2 is less than 2 no 2 is greater than 2 no then they are equal and then only you will increment this counter here and then this counter then only this 3 and 4 can be compared next otherwise you will have duplicate case okay and the same case i mean not only with array 1 you have to do that with array 2 also like because you can have 2 here so the point is you will not start comparing the array 1 element with array 2 element first you have to run in the same array and just eliminate all the duplicates stand in the last position of the duplicate elements and then only you compare that okay so i think we are clear let me just quickly show you the code so this is our code i mean these three wrong are just because i was thinking this uh, input is uh, sorted array and i was like what what is going wrong so due to that <laughs> these three wrongs are there and then this wrong is there because i wanted to optimize some looping okay so pay attention here now see I told you right the question we are solving is we are assuming that your arrays are sorted but here in this question I'm getting two arrays array 1 and array 2 but they are not sorted so what I did I just sorted them so you just ignore this step just assume that we are not doing this because this question is not like that I mean this lead code question is not like that so you just assume you got elements in sorted way and then your processing is starting here okay so let's see what I'm doing here and this m and n are actually the size of array 1 and array 2 and on array 1 we will iterate using i array 2 will iterate using j so see i have used these two for loops just to get rid of all the duplicates see this is a while loop a funny looking while loop you don't have any body for this is just a while with semicolon so it's like if I and mean, this is just a boundary check i told you right before processing anything before actually comparing array 1 with array 2 you have to remove duplicates i mean run for the duplicates correct and reach to the end so this is how we'll do that we'll initialize i 
inside k actually i can optimize this also i mean i don't need any k r and l i didn't notice that before so basically what we can do we can comment this and this and this we don't need anything we'll do i j i j i and j and here we can increment i and j okay without any problem i think it should work i didn't notice that in the beginning yeah you know it's look fine oh accept it correct so we don't need this uh, obviously so yeah now less clutter <laughs> now it is easy to understand right you are just trying to point to the last element if you have duplicates okay and then only you are checking if array once element is less than array two's element then you know that you have to increment array one's pointer otherwise if it is i mean array two's element is less than array one's body, uh, element then you have to increment array's two pointer and then if that's not the case then we know that they are equal what you'll do you'll print or this question requires that you have to create an vector and return that so we have to forcefully create this vector and i have to push everything into that whereas you can just simply print also if your interviewer is asking just to print that okay and then we'll increment i and j both like this you can solve this problem without taking any extra space and yeah we are not taking any extra space and still we are getting this good runtime and all that just because we are assuming that your input arrays are sorted okay and next video is going to be when you don't have input elements as sorted then what is the best or optimized way to solve this problem okay so till then bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos don't forget to hit the like button guys